Hi guys, Rose here with The Cackling Moon. This is going to be um, a little bit different of a tarot reading. Um, we're going to be focusing on spiritual, more spiritual topic. Um, I am going to be reading for a client who is actually a reader themselves. Um, and they were asking about questions concerning their practice. So um, my client feels that there's something different going on with their reading style, that they feel... Um, maybe perhaps they may be leveling up in a way, um, or they're asking if perhaps this is what's taking place because on a, from a spiritual standpoint, um, they have felt a little bit different energy when they read. Now, <clears throat> from my own personal experience with leveling up, um, ascending or, um, getting more in touch with yourself and, Kind of like a spiritual psychic boost i guess you could say if you really want to talk about it that way um yes you will experience a little bit of a <laughs> a disconnect it's almost it almost kind of sounds counterintuitive because um you would think when you're going through a leveling up that you're actually more enhanced with your abilities but sometimes we feel a little disconnect um, it's also with the type of clients that we are seeing, um, or we will notice that we are receiving clients that are in need of um, situations that are in situations that maybe we are personally going through as well. So it's like the messages that you're giving to these clients are actually messages that you need to hear for yourself. Um, so that's like a little disclaimer I thought I would put out there as well, um, as I feel that that is necessary. Um, I'm going to light my candle and there's a guidebook that I want to use with the animal spirits. Let me get that. <laughs> Ooh, so if you can hear the candle was actually crackling. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Usually like um, I'll take that to be a message or a sign in itself spirit is around that kind of thing so funny how we were just talking about that I don't know if this tea light is gonna stay lit because it's pretty much done but we'll see okay so I'm gonna be working with the animal spirit Oracle I have the guidebook because I need that guidebook for the cards the wild unknown tarot and also the native spirit Oracle um, I find the native spirit to be extremely, <clears throat> extremely good for spiritual questions like the journey and all of that. So I feel like this will be a good one for you to kind of receive some insight. I'm going to pull a single card from it to kind of see what kind of messages we're playing with as far as your situation goes. So let's start with that first and then we'll dive into everything else. <clears throat> so I just want to focus on you. And we're just going to see, we're going to ask um, for us to see where you're at with your journey as a reader. Where you're at as a reader right now and where you are going in the near future. <clears throat> so, where you're at right now, we have Sacred Mountain. Very nice. So, Sacred Mountain is, let's see. So, just a disclaimer, there's only a couple decks where I will use the guidebook when I read with them, and this is one of them. So, <laughs> just so you know. But mainly the meaning is um, be still and take the time to move into the silent place within yourself. Locate your internal source of power, meditate and wait. Don't move forward until it feels right. Surrender to stillness. Do not take action. If you observe rather than react, your, you will reclaim your power. So I love that because it's like right now where you're at in your spiritual journey is stillness. It's calling for you to kind of take a step back, to pause, to not jump to conclusions, and kind of sit in the moment for a little bit. 
It's almost like you're in a state of peace. The journey. Um, travel to the peaks of hallowed mountains. And if you can't do this in person, travel in meditation. So perhaps it's asking you to visit the mountain range. Okay. So theoretically speaking, sacred mountain, perhaps maybe you're being called to um, visit the mountains or retreat to a mountain range or um, spend time in nature. You could also take it as that. If you don't have the means to do so, then traveling there in meditation, this is a, a form of peace for you. Um, I also like that it's a mountain because to me, mountains are something we want to climb, but it can also symbolize a great, a great challenge in our present life. It's an obstacle. So I feel like right now with you in your spiritual journey, um, it does show that you're struggling with a challenge. You are um, facing a block, okay? But also in order to get through this little, this little hump, it's asking you to be still and quiet and listen and meditate. So a lot of times when we're going through um, a rough patch, we forget about the fact that we could simply quiet our minds and ask for an answer. And a lot of times the answer we need to receive is requiring us to be quiet. So maybe that is something that you need to practice more of, silence, meditation, peacefulness, instead of um, thinking of getting a direct answer out loud. So where you are headed, we have Wounded Healer. It's beautiful. So let's look in the guidebook to see what Wounded Healer is about. It's the final card in the deck, by the way. Healing energy, vitality, and life force energy are flowing through you and to you. You're a healer, and you provide healings to others, even if you're not conscious of it. Whatever needs healing in your life is being resolved. Your so-called faults are becoming your virtues. No matter what happened in your past, the past does not need to equal the future. It's true. The cracks can be where the light enters the soul. So maybe what you're going through at the present is preparing you for the future, um, making you stronger. It's making you a like a lighthouse to someone else. Um, maybe you're being prepared right now. And maybe that's why <clears throat> you are receiving some setbacks, some struggles, some blocks, because you're being prepared for being the right kind of a healer for a new client that may be coming to you. So it could also be that's what you're experiencing. Um, healing energy serves through you. Whatever in your life needs healing is being addressed on the inner realms. Your strength lies in the difficulties that you've overcome. So don't set yourself short for the things that you've been through in your life as well. Um, but also it's kind of saying you're being prepared. So I do feel like maybe that's what you're tapping into. Maybe that's what you were experiencing when you were um, in your in your message where you were saying you feel like your, your readings have not been accurate. You feel like you've been um, kind of all over the place. And you know, that kind of stuff happens. Like I noticed that for myself too. Um, if I don't feel intuitively connected, it's usually because I am absorbing too much outside um, energies or people, my clients or whatever. Um, if I'm not properly cleansing myself or I'm not taking care of myself, um, then, you know, I will reflect that in my readings. It doesn't mean that you're not connected anymore. It just means that there's some, just some things you need to pay attention to. So I feel like right now what you need is a moment of silence and maybe this will register to you too as a, an escape, um, uh, just a, like a minor vacation, a minor break. Um, ask yourself, when was the last time that I took a break from my readings and took a break from the things that I do? And if it's been a while, then perhaps this is time for you to go on a vacation. And it doesn't have to be a, a drawn out, you know, week long vacation. Um, it could simply be a day or two that you take off from life in general, where you just literally 
um, sit back and, and catch up on rest and catch up on Netflix and catch up on, you know, life, <laughs> pampering yourself. Because a lot of times we might think we're taking a break by doing a retreat, um, but we're still working. So it's, I feel like that's basically what you're being, what you're experiencing. You're just experiencing a minor break. Okay, so we have dolphin, scorpion, and zebra. I wanted to pull while I was talking because I like to read that way. So you have air energy. No, I'm sorry, you have fire and water energy. dolphin is play. This is the element of play. Scorpion, I feel, is, um, it's to me is a protection mechanism. It's also to be wise that not all everything seems, not everybody is what they seem. So this brings me to exactly the, um, the person in question that you were talking about in your message as well. Um, well, there was a particular client and this client's significant other or they brought along a, someone with them to their reading and you were feeling kind of different energies. I Perhaps the scorpion's revealing that this person doesn't always have the best of intentions and you were tapping into that. Um, that may be why this person felt nervous around you um, or was displaying physical reactions to being nervous. Um, so be very wary, but whenever you have, and I'm sure you do this anyway, but whenever you have energies like this around you, you really want to make sure you cleanse your space and you, um, you kind of resort yourself back into center. So a good meditation after the reading would have been good. I don't know if you did that, but eh, when you deal with someone like this, to me, it's like, um, they're always on guard and I feel like this person may have been going through their own um, issues and perhaps they were kind of thinking that you would tap into them and maybe give them a reading without having to pay for it <laughs> you know what I mean like sometimes when our when our clients bring friends they may think that they're gonna get a reading as well um, so it doesn't always happen sometimes maybe it, I guess it just depends on you we have Magician, we have the uh, Nine of Cups, the King of Cups, and Emperor. So what I'm seeing for you is as far as your readings go and your style, um, it's coming full, full circle. So a lot of this work, a lot of this experience that you're having is prep work. Um, so don't write it off as like you're <laughs> you're not connecting, you're not, you know, you're not accurate. It's you're going through a bump. And I feel like maybe the disconnect, the inability to read accurately um, is a sign for you to take a step back and to take a break. So I do feel that. Um, the emperor and the father to me is is male, lots of male vibe around you at the moment. Um, and it could be a call to from God to ask you to kind of um, turn to him for protection more more often, you know, instead of you taking it on yourself, make sure that you do turn to God or the emperor, which is how I'm kind of revealing that to be, um, to protect you and to be around you for these readings, especially when you're dealing with, um, with an individual who doesn't feel right. Um, the zebra is throwing me for a loop though. So let's see what the zebra, that one's not catching my eye as far as the message goes. So let's see. Let's see what the zebra is. The zebra is eccentric, creative, and visionary. Young at heart, well-cultured, and an undying curiosity about life. Being in the company of a zebra personality is not only delight, but it also opens your mind. It's a hint to pack your bags. <laughs> so it's asking for, um, like, maybe a hint to pack your bags. To me, that's, that's saying, like, um, travel. When you're packing your bags, you're traveling or you're setting yourself up for a vacation. So think about that. You know, if it's been a while since you've actually taken a day or two off for yourself, that might be something you want to 
um, to think about doing because I do feel like it's been a long time. At least that's the, the feeling that I get with that. I'm going to leave these here so I could remember what we're looking at. So definitely, um, I feel for you that if there's anything that you take from the reading, it's going to be taking a break. Um, and, and it's not just a temporary, like, couple hours out of a day. It's a, it's a good day, full day break, um, or a couple days or whatever. It's something that's going to require a little bit more time. And you absolutely don't do anything in that break time. You don't check email. You don't have any meetings. It is literally one-on-one -on -one time for you. Let's see. So I'm just going to pull on the Wounded Healer card. We're going to see... Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, Lovers, High Priestess, Wheel of Fortune, beautiful. Yeah, there is definitely um, going to be a shift. So I see this is a changing of the seasons to me. This is a changing of the seasons. This is shedding. This is letting go of layers. Um, all with the old on with the new kind of energy. Um, a lot of times when we're in the mid year, a lot of people look at that as in a second new year. So maybe that's something, a, a way for you to envision it is this is a second new year of your reading style. Um, what I came with at what's crossing is the ace of cups. So this is the message that you deliver. Okay. To other people, to your clients, but also with yourself, this is you receiving, so um, as a block, it's definitely what I'm seeing. The changing of the seasons, you shifting into gears, okay? Getting into another level of your, um, the way that you work. But I feel like in that time frame, as you go through that shift, it's going to be brief. Um, but it's going to require you to take a day or two off. So I'll just keep saying that. <laughs> Um, then we have, we pulled here lovers and high priestess. And to me, that is your connection with your, um, with yourself, but also significant other. Okay. Lover energy going off together to, to just the two of you. And then you'll feel yourself coming back. Okay. You'll feel more connected again. And then with that Wheel of Fortune, it's you get the ball rolling all over again. So it's kind of like you taking a temporary break and then the gears will start moving. Like a reset. Think of it as a reset for your path. The hyena. The hyena is fire. So lots of fire. Fire and water in your readings, which is interesting. I'll say that. I'll say after what I'm thinking about that, but hyena is humor, wit, sarcasm. When the hyena card appears, it's time to reflect on your reliance um, on sarcasm and humor to express your truth. Are, are you using jokes to hide old resentments and relationships? to mask things that you feel uncomfortable discussing. Well, what would happen if you took your goals seriously? So maybe there is a fear factor there. Maybe you are, you, you know, you know what this is that you're dealing with, but you maybe don't want to face it because you know it's going to bring up some stuff. Um, maybe you're afraid to take a little bit of time off because you don't want to lose the traction of getting clients and all of that. So, the, you know, there could be that too. Um, but I feel with this, this is definitely a, um, an indication of a lot of times when we're nervous, we hide behind laughter. <laughs> so it could be that too. Your fear card is judgment. So what others say, what others think, um, not living up to par with clients is another one that's a big one so if you're messing up or if you're not quite doing what you feel um you're not living up to the expectations of other people's 
reviews, perhaps, you know, worrying. That can also kind of reset your, the way you do things. Maybe you're so nervous about it that you, um, you're purposely screwing up. You know, you're, you're doing it to yourself kind of thing. So really interesting um, when you look at it as a whole. I really feel like that's the gist of what's going on here. Um, so if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I am here and I hope that this kind of gave you something to think about. I think if anything, um, you're going to start seeing movement again in the next month or so. Um, like I said, this is temporary. And the mix up with that one client, I would say, refuse any additional services to that individual. Um, always trust your gut. If you don't feel right about it, don't, don't do that to yourself again. So there you go, my love. I hope that this helped you out. Thank you so much for allowing me to tap in and read for you. And I hope to talk to you soon. Bye, guys.